Hello, this is Jacob Chesna from International Precision Engineering Inc. And today I wanted to talk about our mobile machining capabilities. The reason for these mobile machining capabilities is so that when we get job, when we get requests, when we're on the road, we can act fast and do simple machining jobs on the fly. If we had the material, we can start the next day. To do this, we bought a little machine shop high torque mill and a Microlux 7x16 mini lathe which actually has a 22 inch bed. A few things that I like about this machine is that it's quiet, it has plenty of torque and as you can see for a, for a mobile machine being in a hotel room I think it's perfect. Another useful addition to this machine is our threaded plate. We usually put this on all of our milling machines and it just bolts to the standard table and it adds a lot more flexibility in clamping, mounting. Additionally we do have a couple different vices in the toolbox but this seems to work a lot better in terms of where you can mount the vise in and out of the machine, things like that. I'm not too particularly crazy on the 16 turns per inch. I would prefer 20 or 10, but if you're into fractional dimensions, I guess it's okay. Another useful feature of our mobile setup is that we have the whole mill sitting on vibration isolation pads. And while it seems wobbly, the machine itself, from the spindle to the table, is still very rigid. <clears throat> In a mobile machine, you're only taking light passes, you're doing light machine work. So it's a little annoying on the dial, but it helps keep the noise down out of the box and off the floor. And I can, I'll bring you in on a close-up of that. What we have here is four wheelbarrow inner tubes full of water. And we tried to get as much of the air out as possible while filling them. They're full of water, sitting on a piece of three-quarter inch MDF. And as you can see, I'm squeezing pretty hard to get that to move, but it does move, and that's what's important. Let me bring you in on a close-up of our Microlux 7x16 lathe. Again, it's on a foam pad, a little bit stiffer than the inner tubes because uh, just because it makes it easier to machine. Uh, but it is, again, damped a little bit. And typically when you're using a lathe, there's not as much vibration if you're cutting right and have your speeds and feeds set. So it seems to work out pretty good. Again, it's a pretty quiet machine. We've got uh, the readouts. They're on the screws, so you still have to account for backlash, but they're still very handy. One addition that I'd like to do this machine is add a handle with a dial on our lead screw here to free up our compound. Currently, the only, the only measurable axis in the Z is our compound. We have our readout right on the screw of the, of the compound, and that gives you Z-axis control. If we had a handle with a dial on the screw, we could have long range capabilities and free up our compound. We also have several chucks, several tool holders, as always multiple tools, carbide inserts, things like that. And we can go, we can go into the machine more in detail as we start getting into projects. But I just wanted to give you an overview of the mobile machines and show you how a little bit on how they're set up. 